to defeat Donald Trump. Norman Solomon, your response? We definitely need to defeat Donald Trump. No self-respecting or human-respecting progressive would ever vote for Donald Trump. At the same time, you're not going to be able to effectively defeat the bogus, racist, xenophobic type of uh, pseudo-populism coming from Donald Trump with a sort of Wall Street throw in a little bit of populist rhetoric uh, campaigning that we've been getting uh, from Hillary Clinton. Of course, uh, while we defeat Donald Trump, we also need to keep on keeping on to speak truth to and about power. And right now, corporate power has a stranglehold over domestic policy, over international policy. It's fueling the warfare state in perpetual war. Since when do advocates for nonviolence and peace go silent when Hillary Clinton is an advocate for perpetual war? There are people in Libya, in Iraq, in Syria who are suffering grievously because of policies not only in the past that she's advanced, but ones that she's prescribing for the future. Since when do we go silent when Hillary Clinton affectionately praises and describes Henry Kissinger as her friend? Now, let's, let's be clear. Hillary Clinton is a pro-war candidate. If Bernie Sanders is not exactly an anti-war candidate, he's not a pro-war candidate. He has, for instance, symbolically said he would never want Henry Kissinger, who, you know, frankly, is a warmonger and a war criminal. I just think history bears that out. Uh, Bernie Sanders went out of his way in a debate, two debates, to say, look, I would never consider him my friend. He is a disgraceful uh, historic figure in terms of being a secretary of state. So I think we need to get um, a clear grip on what our values are. And progressives are absolutely capable of holding in their minds and their hearts two fundamental precepts and goals. One, yes, we must defeat Donald Trump. The other is that we have eternal vigilance to challenge the kind of corporate power, Wall Street-friendly and militarism policies that are advocated by and now represented fully uh, by Hillary Clinton. Do you see a path for Bernie Sanders right now to the presidency, Norman Solomon? Well, I think there's a path to Philadelphia. And like many other Bernie Sanders delegates that I've spoken with in recent days, we want to hear the nominating speeches and the seconding speeches for Bernie Sanders inside the convention hall in Philadelphia. We want to hear him speak to the convention still as a candidate and as delegates who have been elected in our congressional districts, for instance, in the state of California, we want to cast our votes for Bernie Sanders as the nominee for president of the United States of the Democratic Party. That need not be divisive at all. It's inclusive, and it means that, uh, as Jesse Jackson said way back in 1988, uh, a plane and a party needs two wings to fly. And if this party tries to lop off the left wing of its uh, uh, vehicle and its uh, possibilities, then we're going to be uh, fighting this campaign with one hand uh, amputated behind our back. We're going to continue this discussion. Norman Solomon, a Bernie Sanders delegate to the Democratic National Convention, and Dolores Huerta, a longtime Hillary Clinton supporter, one of the founders of the United Farm Workers of America with Cesar Chavez. I also want to add.